This is Carrie Lake crushing it. Cru By the way, you want to compare her demeanor to, to that political um, rubbish coming out of Canada, Justin Trudeau. You want to talk about someone speaking with conviction, someone with convincing demeanor, uh, someone with, as Scott Adams would say, the power of persuasion. Uh, Carrie Lake has got the power of persuasion. But how? Listen to this. I'm actually shocked you asked that question. <laughs> well, actually, yes, I don't think you'll tell one once in a while. <laughs> No, I, I did a little, actually, Anthony. Anthony, how old are you? 20. Are you a journalist? No. Well, you did better research than half these people. Um, let's talk about election deniers. Here's 150 examples of Democrats denying election results. Oh, wow, look at this. This is from, this is from uh, Joe Biden's press secretary. Reminder, Brian Kemp stole the gubernatorial election from Georgians and Stacey Abrams. We covered that one. It was it was different when she said it. She was talking about something totally different. Democrats saying that. Is that an election denier? Oh, look at this. Just heard Republican Ryan Costello said it would be difficult for Stacey Abrams to win because she lost her state bid, but yet she's still claiming she never lost. Meredith from uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. That's what her demeanor, that's what Carrie Lake's demeanor reminds me of. Who that's that's who Carrie Lake's demeanor reminds me of. This is our Hillary Clinton. Trump is an illegitimate president. Is she an election denier? And you know what's beautiful this about this? Was the 26th. You know that she knew this before. So she's sort of acting, acting. You know that she knew this before because all, you know, anybody who's been paying attention and knew this. But this is the show of the delivery of her message. It's, it's magnificent. 16, election legitimate. It now definitely is a question worth asking. That's the Los Angeles Times. So it's okay for Democrats to question elections, but it's not okay for Republicans. It's a crock of BS. Every one of you knows it. We have our freedom of speech and we're not gonna relinquish it to a bunch of fake news propagandists. If you want a copy of these, I'm sure that we're, Anthony would help you get a copy and help you learn how to be journalists, but look it up. It's been happening for a long time. Since 2000, people have questioned the legitimacy of our elections. And all we're asking is that in the future, we don't have that have to happen anymore. When I'm governor, excuse me, when I'm governor, we're gonna make sure we have honest elections. We want the Democrats, the independents, and the Republicans to all know that their vote counted. Excuse me, I'm talking. We want fair, honest, and transparent elections, and we're going to deliver that for the people. But just remember guys, this is one page after Hillary Clinton says George W. Bush was selected president, not elected. So let's start, if you're going to start throwing around terms like election denier, let's remember who the other election deniers were, Hillary Clinton and all the Democrats. Next yeah, question. Very, Oof, that's a mic drop, a legitimate mic drop moment. And I think I'm in political love. Political love. I'm a married man. Avoid, avoid the problems you see coming out of California, but as far as political performances go, as far as political messaging goes, as far as demeanor, content, substance, form, oh, that's amazing. Am amazing. And there's, there's very few people who, who are not going to be uh, swayed by that. Uh, and those who won't uh, will never be, will never be swayed. But I want to, I would just want to pull up one thing, actually. Let me go to YouTube. Uh, it was um, Trump, Georgia election. There was a, um, oh, I got to probably take out the word. I think it was BBC. Who, who did it? I might not be able to find it now. Uh, but it was a it was a whole it was a whole piece about potential potential chicanery political chicanery in Georgia that they thought would uh, be a problem when they thought Trump might win. Trump loses, all of a sudden they scrap they scrap that programming. Yeah, good good for the goose, good for the gander. The problem is people uh, that that is from uh, good for the goose is from Desert sixty two. The problem is, and people aren't wrong in saying this. 
they know it's not a double standard. It's a hierarchy. They know it's, it's, it is a double standard. They know that it's, they're, they're not intellectually honest in their application of the rules. You know, some dude who said something anti-Semitic 10 years ago will always be forever an anti-Semite if he's a, an adversary. If he's an ally and it's Norfolk from Virginia, Trudeau from wherever, uh, Hillary Clinton making hot sauce, uh, other racial jokes, no, you forgive them because they're, they're good. They're not racist. The Democrats. The, but so it, it is applying one set of rules to your adversaries while a, applying an entire set of exceptions to your allies. So yeah, no, they get to. Because when, when Saki did it, uh, not Saki, I'm sorry, that's the wrong press secretary. Um, uh, Jean-Pierre election denial tweet. When, when, when Jean-Pierre does it, when the press secretary does it, don't trust me, YouTube, overlords, trust the interwebs. Karine Jean-Pierre, this is her personal account, but she's press secretary now. Stolen emails, stolen drone, stolen election. Welcome to the world of hashtag unpresident Trump. There was a second one. She had a second tweet. Yeah, she had a second one. I forget, I forget what it was. Let's go to um, Hillary Clinton. Selected President Bush. Let's just see that one. I don't know if we're going to be able to find that one. That, one. that was before the age of the internet. The internet is amazing. Here's, here you go. Hillary Clinton. In 2002, George W. Bush was selected, not elected. I, I can do the homework as well, but we, we've, we've already done it. So we don't need to do it again. But uh, yeah, no, they, they, know, they know they're inconsistent. It's, it's the same mental gymnastics that they go through to forgive themselves and, and, and forever castigate their adversaries. It goes into policy. It goes into logic. It goes into, it goes into everything. It goes into application of, of two sets of rules. It goes into free speech. Yeah, of course, uh, you can call Trump uh, uh, all the things in the world, but, you know, Kanye, no, he can't talk. Alex Jones can't talk, but um, they, they can deny things. In 2002, George W. Bush was selected, not elected. Stolen emails, stolen drone, stolen election. Welcome to the world of hashtag unpresident Trump.